What's going on everyone? Steven here. Today I'm going to start a new little series showing you how to hack No Man's Sky. And this is the No Man's Sky Next update. I have one other video that I did for No Man's Sky when the game first released, but now that it's at its full glory, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, more than just kind of that one video that I did. right? So, today I'm going to show you how to give yourself essentially infinite units, nanite clusters, and quicksilver. So for those of you who just want to jump in and do this really quick, I'm going to quench your thirst for that. And then those of you who want to create a more long-lasting script so you don't have to keep doing these scans, um, we'll go into that as well. All right, so jumping right in here, I have Cheat Engine open in the game. I attached uh, or opened the game process with Cheat Engine. If you don't know how to do that, you click this button here and you look for NMS here in the list for No Man's Sky, double click it, bam, you're attached. So what I'm going to do is start with a scan for my units. If you don't have any units, get yourself some units. All right, And then whenever you have some units, scan for that value here. So I put 7600 in there for scan. All right. Depending on what your number of units are, you may or may not have a lot of results here. Um, if you do have a lot of results there, what you probably want to do is um, gain or lose units, you know, if you're buying, selling, or whatever. So after you do your first scan for however many you have, you want to change that value. And whatever your new value is, so let's say we spent 200 units, um, I would do a next scan for 7,400 in my case, right? And that would just keep whittling your results down. But if you don't have too many results, like me here, what you can do is just copy all these down into your address list here. All right, and you can select about half, right, and then right click on this one here and go change record value. All right, so what we're going to try to do is change the value of all these addresses to something else and see if that changes up here. Okay, so I'm going to go 10,000. All right, that changed. That's good news. So all of these up here, none of these are the one we're interested in because we didn't touch them and we changed our value here. So I'm going to select about half of these, right click, change record value, go 9000. That didn't change so I'm just going to hit delete to delete those. Now I'm going to select about half of those, right click, change record value 9000. Nothing changed there either. All right, So we're whittling our way down Right click on here, change record, value, 9,000, nothing changed. So it should be one of these then. All right, change record value, 9,000. All right, it went down, but then it went back up. So none of these are it, but one of them had something to do with the value. So maybe it was just the visual value on the screen. And whatever that is, it will count up or down to whatever the real one is. So it should be one of these two. I'm going to delete those. Let's try changing this one. And there we go. Look, our units have changed. All right, so now what you can do is double click on this and go like that. All right, and bam, give yourself all those units. Okay, so as a matter of giving yourself just a ton of these. You can do that. And now for your nanite clusters and quicksilver, just follow along here if this is all you want to do. So click on this, control C to copy, control V to paste, hit enter, control V to paste again, hit enter. Now on the second one here, okay, click on it and then right click here on the address and, or I'm sorry, double click on it. And right here, um, go plus four and click OK. For the second one, click on it, double click rather, and do plus eight and click OK. This is your nanite clusters, this is your quicksilver. So, you can do that 
and double click here and you know to change that value you know I double clicked on the value so with cheat engine each of these little things under each column that you click on or double click on will open a different thing right so that's the value but anyway there you go so if that's all you wanted BAM you're done okay if you want a more permanent cheat well we're gonna do that now so I'm gonna put these back to what I think they were and this one was 7600 alright so speaking to the more you know maybe advanced or experienced game hackers out there what do we see happening right when I change these values they change here on the screen so that lets us know what that there is an address or I'm sorry an instruction that's accessing these addresses right now so if we right click on this and we say find out what accesses this address we attach the debugger okay the game crashes which is awesome <laughs> alright I'm gonna restart it and come right back hang on a second alright back up and running games up cheat engines up so gonna right click back on this and I'm gonna say find what accesses this address attach the debugger and there we go so we have our instruction here we can see this instruction is reading right from this memory address okay so it's watching the memory address and then taking that value and placing it into this register all right and when we make our change to that address uh, or to the value it's updating it all right so this is cool we can say show disassembler um, I'm going to stop this so it's not continually running there all right this is the instruction first let's see if this instruction is reading from any other addresses because we don't want that kind of conflict if we can help it with what we want to do here so find out what addresses this instruction accesses and here so far it's just that one we can come back in the game here and hit escape and look at that the instruction count is stopped all right I'm gonna come back into that menu and BAM that instruction kicks up again all right so that's cool uh, it's not going to be running unless we are in this menu all right so now what we're gonna do I'm gonna stop that and go tools auto assemble template AOB injection I'm gonna copy this control C and I'll show you why so I'm gonna click OK and we'll go player stuffs and we're basically just gonna create our own pointer to this address um, and thus so the units and then the nanite clusters and the quicksilver alright so I'm gonna keep this AOB scan module here just so we have it in case something changes in an update but otherwise so that we can have our script enabled very quickly I'm gonna go player stuffs you know what I named it here and then we're just going to say this location right so this instruction is in this base module plus offset address so we're just telling cheat engine to go directly here to do what we want to do alright so next thing we can do we're just gonna alloc player 8 and near this address all right we're gonna allocate more memory near this address um, and then finally I'm going to register symbol player all right and now above this new mem here I'm gonna say player DQ 0 all right and now what we can do is what's in RCX we can just move since we've identified there are no conflicts here it's not a big deal we don't need to do any compares or anything like that we can just move into player RCX alright so D offset D44 is units okay so uh, whoops control Z control C I'm gonna copy that now or actually just remember D44 I'm gonna come down here and copy these paste player and player 
Perfect. So we're going to have created our own pointer here, which gives us the base address here to let us reference units, nanite clusters, and Quicksilver. So now I'm going to go File, Assign to Current Sheet Table, close this, close that, close that, and we'll name this Player Stuffs. Okay, add address manually, player plus offset D44. We'll call this units. Say OK. Click and drag it up under the script here. Control C, Control V, Enter, Control V, Enter. Double click on this, 48, Enter. Double click here, 4C, Enter. Or OK. I guess I could have changed the names too. Nanite clusters and Quicksilver. All right. So now that we have those, I'm going to enable this script and hopefully we will see these three things populate. And there we go. So now we can change this to, right, I'm going to copy this real quick. Say OK, double click, paste, double click, paste. And there we go. So now I can delete that. And now I can save this. So now I have this script where I at least have these three things and that's a nice little start to pimping out our player here in No Man's Sky. Alright, so I'm going to leave this video at this for now. Uh, in the next video we're going to be doing some fun stuff with our inventory. Alright, so stay tuned for that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe so that you catch my follow-up videos to this and other games. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.